Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add a photo gallery to your web pages. So click on Manage Website, click on Edit Pages, and then you can select what page you'd like to add your photo gallery to. In this case, I'm going to choose Home. And I decided I want to put my photo gallery in this section here in this page area so I'm going to go to add page photo gallery and I'll be able to drag and drop any one of these um, to that area so I'm going to drag drop it exactly where I want it and in order to have the images in this section you have to add them manually so you'd have to click on add images and then upload, browse, and then bring in your pictures. Once you bring in your pictures, um, then they will show up on the list the way I have them here. Then you can select to change the display options. Now notice in the display options, as soon as you uh, drag and drop, it doesn't matter which one you drag and drop. If you, you thought it was the wrong one, you'll have a drop down menu here giving you the availability to change it and you can change the, the width, the height, uh, what the delay is for example if it's a slideshow and whether or not you want to display any kind of description. In this case I'm going to put no I'm going to hit uh, save changes as soon as I save the changes I can click on save Now notice it has a white, a white background. You don't have to settle for a white background if you don't want to. In this case, I don't want to. So I'm going to change that before we view it uh, as if it were live or we're going to view it live. So I'll go back to properties and then go to background and I'm going to select here on the color and select transparent, which would make it the identical color that my background is. This I recommend. So click save, publish the website, and then view live site. And here's my slideshow. Once I press play, it automatically begins to slide. Now you have the availability to put a timer on that slide also. So if you want it to slide every five seconds, every 10 seconds, it's totally up to you. You can pause it. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna change from the slideshow to a single image. We're gonna save changes. Save changes here. and publish. View live site. These changes are instantly. That's what I like about this. So here you go. One image at a time. You can go back and forth. Exit out of here. Go back and then edit the full gallery now. And we're going to choose a new display option and let's select the grid. Now if you don't, you notice the grid now gives you additional options. And you can have the pictures pop up or they can pop up in an animated, animated light box form. So I'll choose the animated save changes and then I'll publish it's going to ask me to save and publish. I'll click save and publish. That was pretty quick. View live site. And there it is. I have a grid of four 
and I can click next and next but now if I want it to view the picture I can have it pop up in an animated uh, format when it's animated that's why these arrows show up in order to go to the next picture and I brought in several sizes just to give you uh, an example and that's why it's animated. In order to exit this, you can press X or just click on this black area and it will bring you back. We're gonna change now to another photo gallery display option. From the grid, we're gonna to go to film strip two. Film strip number two has also animated live box and pop-up. In this case, I'm going to select pop-up I'm going to save these changes. I'm going to hit publish. That's going to ask me to save and publish, which I will. And we're going to view the live site, which was very quick. And here we go. It's got 19, 19 images. Here's one of three. And that's just. This is your film strip number two. If I click on this, it will pop up. Let's see if I get a big one. There it is. And there you go. So in this case, there are no arrows to the left or to the right. There's no animation. This is st straight pop-up. You can click X and get out, or just select the background. It immediately will take you out. Let's check out the next. Uh, photo gallery strip number one and if you notice as soon as I click strip number one there's no light box effect or what have you so let's see what this looks like here save changes click on publish save and publish I'm going to view the live site and what I have now is I have a pop-up. It's not a pop-up. It actually, it's just, that's the, this is the format of it. It doesn't pop up again. It just pops up in this area right here. So if I click, I'm able to view, I'm able to scroll. And regardless of how many images, I have a perfect, uh, a perfect view or my visitors do. So that's how you add a photo gallery to your web page. I hope this video tutorial was helpful. If you need additional help in making any changes, any changes to your website, uh, feel free to click on the live chat support or call in for customer support. They'll be glad to walk you through every single time. Thank you and stay tuned to the next tutorial.